The modern nation of Spain is divided into 17 autonomous communities. Each of these has widely varying autonomy, each negotiated with the central government in Madrid. In the northeastern autonomous community of Catalonia, a growing independence movement has been gaining momentum over the last several decades. The current tensions between the Catalans and the Castellanos finds its roots in medieval times. The year is 1469. The Iberian Peninsula is split into five kingdoms. The Kingdom of Portugal. The Kingdom of Navarre. The Islamic Emirate of Granada. The Crown of Aragon was a composite monarchy formed by the marriage of the Queen of Aragon and the Count of Barcelona in 1137. These would remain separate but ruled by the same monarch. In the Principality of Catalonia, people were protected by a constitution and elected a parliament called the Cortes. The largest of these kingdoms was Castilla y León. This was ruled over by the 18-year-old Isabella, who would marry Fernando of Aragon. Together, they would conquer the last Islamic enclave on the Iberian Peninsula of Granada. After Isabella's death, Fernando would go on and conquer Navarre in the north. Their descendants would rule over a united Spain, as well as territories in the New World, Europe, and Asia. In the War of Spanish Succession, two rival claimants for the Spanish throne duked it out with nearly every country in Europe taking one side or the other. Unfortunately for the Crown of Aragon, including the Principality of Catalonia, they picked the losing side in the Civil War. Afterwards, the Catalan Constitution and Cortes would be abolished. In the late 19th century, the first laws against the Catalan language were implemented to counter growing Catalan nationalism. During his nearly four decades as head of the Spanish state, Francisco Franco would implement even more draconian policies against the use of the Catalan language. Following Franco's death in 1975, Catalonia has gradually gained more autonomy and independence. Since medieval times, Catalans were known for their industry and aptitude as merchants and traders. Many Catalans in favor of independence believe they are paying disproportionately high taxes and receiving too little benefits in return. Those against believe the independence movement's numbers are inaccurate or the level of taxation to be reasonable. Historical, linguistic, and cultural differences have fueled the debate to the point where many would like to secede now. Check out my video, Arguments For and Against Catalan Independence, to see more detail on both sides' positions. And if you like the content and would like to see further videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon, and you'll be able to see an upcoming video I'm making on Spanish history. This has been Epimetheus, I'm a one-man operation, and it's really my love of the subject matter, your kind and nasty comments, and all those subscribes, likes, and dislikes that keep me going. So, thank you for that, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my drawings and commentary. Thank you.